Earlier this week, I posted this pre-wedding film for my brother and soon-to-be sister-in-law. Today, I want to go through how this project came to be, how we planned it, and then I want to show you guys some BTS from the day. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Jay on Film. I'm Jay, and this is my life on film. This whole project started with an idea. Since my brother's getting married in October, I thought, why not shoot a pre-wedding film for him? The couple wanted a beach concept, so me and my assistant Kez started looking for locations. And after a couple meetings with the couple, we started planning. I created a storyboard with Milanote, which had the overall concept of the film, what music to use, my shot list, and it would serve as the guide to our shoot day. Honestly, it was pretty easy to use. I split up the story into three scenes which would be set in different locations. For running gun shoots like this, pre-production is key to making sure that we get through the day smoothly. And remember, we only had one day to film this, so we had to make the most of it. So with that, a couple of weeks passed, and then came the day of the shoot. What's up everyone, it's currently 4.14 a.m. and we're getting ready to go to shoot the wedding film, pre-wedding film. All right, we'll see you guys there. So this scene actually appears lost in the film, but we shot it first so that we could catch the sunrise on the day and so that we could be the only people there. What can you say? I'm kidding. Outfit check. With blanket. Outfit check. <laughs> Clearly, it was freezing, but we just had to make do. It's cold. I need to put up my shorts so right now. <laughs> I need to fart. Can as well try to get audio of the what's it called the beach like the wave yeah. Honestly, it was a great start to the day. Just film. The sunrise looked amazing. We were the only ones there aside from one or two early risers, but everyone was working together to get the shots that the couple wanted. The beach was so quiet, and the waves were so calming. Ready? One, two, three, go. It's gonna be <laughs> Guys, I cannot feel my legs anymore. I can feel my feet. <laughs> Spin, 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 spin. Doing a full shoot while running on only three hours of sleep definitely wasn't going to be easy. But once we got there, it started shaping out to be the perfect day to film. At least that's what we hoped. The experience of shooting a film wouldn't be complete without facing a few obstacles. All right, when you're ready. And there was a big one coming our way. <laughs> Let's watch that back from the BTS camp. I was so locked in trying to keep my camera from falling into the water that Atajil literally disappeared from my view. Yeah. 
She took it like a champ though and just kept on going. <laughs> this was definitely a core memory for all of us and we're gonna tell stories of it for years to come. But the shoot must go on and so we pushed through it. We can do this. We got this. <laughs> Come on, Anun. On. We got this. For the for the pre wedding. This is for you at Jen Chris DJ. I'm loving. It's cold. I never thought the winds can take you anywhere. <laughs> I took it quite literally. <laughs> we got it on we got it on. If you're wondering what gear we used for the day, I was shooting on the FX30 and I paired it with my RS3 gimbal. For lenses, I had a 15mm lens, a 35mm lens, and then a 55 to 210mm telephoto lens. For audio, I used the OG DJI mic, and then the monitor I'm using is from FuelWorld. A bit of a self plug, but if you're in Melbourne and want to do a shoot, DM me on Instagram or hit me through the email in the description below. Alright, just a couple of shots left and we're good to move on. Now we're on the way to the second location, but first we gotta eat a bit of food since none of us have had breakfast yet. We stopped by a small cafe to have some toasties, and it's on to the next one. Our next scene is at the gardens. This is the behind the scenes party people. Well, the director slash videographer slash photographer slash planner. Second fit of the day. Mm -hmm. I feel so comfy at the moment. Much better. Mm. I don't want to wear dresses anymore. <laughs> what can you say right now? I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> He's also cold. And you'll know Everyone. how. <laughs> 
We don't got a tape. <laughs> We're gonna know. Most of the film happens at the garden. So this is where we spent most of our time. Easy take. Yeah. Natural. <laughs> Mad long people. Sunnies? Do one with sunnies, do one without. Oh, okay. And then we just choose. What are we doing? The walking thing. So uh, did you have to go on this side again? Uh, this one? Yeah. We're doing the Queen of Tears. The day turned out so well in our favor because whenever we were shooting, the sun was out. And then while moving to other locations, that's when the rain would start coming down. After getting our opening shots, I started filming my brother's scenes. And despite having no acting experience, I'd say he did pretty well. And while that was happening, the girls did a little bit of exploring with the other camera. While the boys film, we got a film as well. We got our little cam over here. Mm -hmm. A little behind the scenes, everyone. Just do your thing. It's always good to bring your shot list around with you to make sure you stay on track. This saved us so much time and it reduced the amount of takes significantly. Also, it's always good to direct your actors if you have a specific shot that you really want to get. Guide them and let them put their own twist to it. And remember, just have fun with it. Okay, that's our second scene done. We're going to take another break and then head to our final spot. City Hall. My setup for today I got on my FX30 mm -hmm. and it's just on the RS3. And then I have the DJI mic. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go. And the final, final stretch. Final on the final football. stretch. Final Uh, could you back up a bit? 
All the way to the end of that chair. And at the jail, same thing. Yeah, good. All right. This last scene didn't have too many shots planned for, as we only wanted to spend a little bit of time here. Just a few hero shots and a couple of details that lead to the climax of the story, which is what we shot in the morning. The main goal was to get in and out of there as fast as we could so that we could finish off the day with a nice meal. And we did exactly that. Alright guys, it's a wrap! <laughs> Our day of filming is over. Finally! Now we just gotta edit it! Alright. See you guys. We're gonna eat now. We're gonna have lunch. I'm hungry. What time is it? It's 3. It's around 3 o'clock. <laughs> so we started at, we left at 4.30. And now it's three. So that's almost a 12 hour day. Sheesh. It's a wrap. Thank you. So <laughs> Break it so down, good. We're done. We're done. All right, bye guys. See ya. God bless you. Peace. Am I ready? <laughs> three, two, one, go. Foggy! <laughs> Shush! I'm not going to let the TV get my channel. No, bro. <laughs> 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 <laughs>